One of the things that I regret the most when running my ice cream shop 720 Suites before we sold it is not utilizing our email list to the fullest. And today we're going to be talking about the six money making emails that I've learned to utilize to bring in more money for your restaurant. So make sure you stay till the end so then that way you get all these nuggets. Hey guys, it's Wilson here, your friend in helping you build a profitable restaurant. Love to give a major shout out to these two individuals for sending us so much love, support, and thought provoking questions. If you guys want to be able to be involved and get featured, make sure you guys leave us those questions, those comments in the description below. So then that way we get a chance to feature you. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. Number one email that you should be sending is a welcome series emails. What is a welcome series emails? When people actually subscribe to your email list, whether it be through a lead magnet that you're giving away something, whether it be a discount, whether it be a promotion, whether it just be someone that is subscribing to your list that you captured in your restaurant, you need to send them a welcome email. Why is that the case? It is because you need to set the right expectation of the format that they would be consuming your content with. What types of content you're gonna be sending them? What is the frequency that you're sending it to them? Because that really primes them to actually open up your emails. Otherwise, if you don't send them an email right, right after they subscribe, if you don't welcome them, then they have no expectation and in turn, they just view your email as spam. And this also acts as a really, really good trick because with the email deliverability, the first email, majority of the time people would open it because they want to see what's up, what's going on. If you don't send them an email that has a welcome signal to it, then they don't open it. And if it doesn't open, then the email servers and the inside technology stuff would not recognize you as a legitimate sender. And thus, a lot of times it doesn't deliver as well versus someone that actually opens up your emails. Definitely check out this example right here as a great example of a welcome email. Second type of email that you should always send is the weekly newsletter. Why do you wanna send your followers a weekly email? Because you wanna stay top of mind. You don't wanna be not talking to them for two, three months and all of a sudden you send them a promotion expecting them to come into your shop when you have a new product. We don't do that because who would wanna just be yelled at and be like, hey, you know what, come over to my place. How often and how much connectivity do you have with them? Not that much. And that's the reason why we wanna be able to send them emails every single week. Some ideas of things that you can send would be weekly promotions or weekly new dishes that you have or weekly testimonials of how people are enjoying your restaurant and your food or even weekly community stars. Who are within your community is a rising star? Who is it that is super engaging that you wanna be able to feature? And these are all great examples of things that you can put into your weekly newsletter. Now the sky is the limit, be creative, be yourself have your own flair about what you want to feature within the, these newsletters as an example mcdonald does an amazing job with their weekly newsletter you can definitely check it out right here another great example is super moon bakehouse If you guys find any value in this video, make sure you smash the like button so then that way I know this is the type of content that you do enjoy. Now, without further delay, let's dive back into regular programming. Third type of emails that you should be sending are the new promotions, new events emails. Now that we have warmed them up, now that we have been sending collectively, consistently, many different emails, just giving, giving, giving value, recipes, and communities and testimonials. We have been seeding them. We have been showcasing what we're up to to our customers. Now is a time for us to be able to ask for something in return. Now we can ask them, hey, you know what? Why don't you come by and check out our new dish? And why don't you come by for our new event? And that's precisely when we do this. Now's the time after we have warmed them up, after we have been popping up on their feed, they've been regularly reading our emails. Now we can ask for something in return. And this is when you're going to be sending the new flavor, new promotion, new event emails out to your list. Definitely check out this example of how Matchaful does their promotion. Another company that does an amazing job is Gyokaku for their Father's Day promotion, which you can check out right here as well. 
The fourth type of email that's gonna make or break your business, which I've always utilized, is the survey type of emails. Why is that the case? Why do you wanna throw surveys out to your customers? A lot of times, you don't know your customers that well, and it's always about consistently understanding how their taste buds, how their preference has been shifting. So in that way, we can serve them exactly what they want. If you have been through a few of my videos, then you understand that I always, always preach about understanding your customers, and that's the reason why this type of email is something that I leverage all the time, is to survey them all the time, to see what is it that they're wanting, to see that if they want a new flavor or a new dish, or what about your restaurant they don't like, what about your restaurant that they really enjoy, and that way it allows you to be able to double down on the different types of things that they enjoy. Now, once again, the questions that you ask are limitless. You can ask them about, hey, do you think that our ambience is nice? Do you think that our food offering is good? Do you wanna have something else? Now you can be able to see the different types of response that they give you, and in turn, you can make the right, right judgment and to do the things that actually cater to your core demographic. A pro tip for you guys, definitely give them an incentive for them to fill in a survey and do not go overboard. Do not ask more than eight questions within your emails because if you do ask too many questions and if they're too long aired, people will not do it. You need to ask one word answers. You need to ask the multiple choice questions. You need to make it as easy and as simple as it is for them to complete your survey and after that, incentivize them with a gift card to your restaurant. Fifth type of emails are the review testimonial emails that you should always be sending. Ask and you shall receive. If you don't ask, you will never receive. And that's the reason why every time when come, someone orders or they reserve through your website and when you have that information from your email, you should always, always, always reach out for them to for reviews. Ask them how is it like. Ask them to review on Yelp. Ask them to review on OpenTable. Ask them to review on your Facebook. These are all great testimonials that you can add within your own website, within your own Instagram profile that really elevates and gives authority for your restaurant. And that gives a lot more trust. And at the end of the day, it is trust that would bring your customers through the doors. Should definitely check out how Yelp and OpenTable does it with their own email system that every time you go through their booking systems, they would always, always send you a request for giving them a review. And that gives an example of someone and some companies that are doing an exceptional job and you should follow suit as well. Last but not least, we are into the sixth type of email, which is the re-engagement emails. So you've been sending emails for months and months and months, and now you're still not getting any reply. You're not getting response from this type of demographic or this segment of your email list. What are you gonna do? You're gonna send them a re-engagement email, and oftentimes it is telling them to, hey, you know what, check us out and we'll give you 20% off. Or, hey, you know what, this is a free appetizer. Come and check out our restaurant. This often, acts as a great re-engagement tool that your customers would see as a freebie and they would come and be enticed by the freebie to engage with you again. And oftentimes this changes a customer that has long forgotten about your restaurant and all of a sudden, because of the free stuff, they become your customer again. They become a regular spender at your restaurant again. These engagement emails work like wonders, although not a lot of success rate, but they do work and I highly encourage you to test out what works for you. As a bonus, as requested by Jason, the guy behind the camera, he told us that, you know what, we should definitely include a bonus for you guys. So that's the reason why I'm doing the seventh email that you should be doing, which is the birthday email. Why is it so important? It is because everyone loves free stuff. So if it's their birthday, remind them that it's their birthday, tell them that happy birthday, and on top of that, give them an incentive, whether it's a free appy, free drink, or free meal. Tell them to come into your store, tell them to come in to enjoy a free meal. And thus, majority of the time, people's birthday, they have a whole group that celebrates with them. And what does that mean? That means you just got a full group of people consuming at your restaurant. It's our little hack and our little tip. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. So there you go, the sixth type of money-making emails that you should always consider sending to your email list. 
Something that I really regret not doing with our 720 Suites, our ice cream shop, when we first began, we collected more than 2,000 emails and we rarely send them any emails. And emails are not dead, people still use them every single day. So definitely utilize these six different types, be creative with them, have your own flair, have your own character, and people are gonna receive it with open arms. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more of these videos, or if you want more training, in-depth training, step-by-step -step training on how do you build a successful, thriving restaurant, definitely check out our free masterclass in the description below. Sign up for your Nick's session because throughout this masterclass we're going to be talking about how you can actually find your food concept how you can locate your customer profile it is an hour long full on free training specifically done for you definitely don't miss out really hope you enjoyed this video make sure you smash the like button to show some love otherwise i'll see you guys in the next episode